The scene we brought you live on CBC News Network, the moment of homecoming for hundreds of Canadians who spent days on a cruise ship off the coast of California with coronavirus in their midst. They're back at home now on Canadian soil after their chartered flight touched down at CFB Trenton last hour. You saw it live here on CBC News Network. They will head into quarantine another 14 days in isolation. Let's get all of the details about what lies in store from Michael Serapio. And we were there live together, mm -hmm. Michael, as that plane touched down last hour. Uh, touched down, as you say, Heather, in the last hour, 6.14 a.m., the exact time, Eastern time. Let's take a look at the image once again, because really this is the moment people have been waiting for certainly the Canadians that were waiting to evacuate from the Grand Princess again uh, off the coast of California right now. There you see the plane landing at CFB Trenton, landing some five and a half hours after taking off from Oakland, California last night. Departure time 10.44 p.m. Pacific time on board some of the 237 Canadians who were all passengers on the Grand Princess cruise ship. That cruise ship docking yesterday at the port of Oakland, a ship that had active cases of COVID-19. Now I say some of the 237 Canadians because we don't have an actual number of the evacuees at this moment and that's because we were told that the passengers on the ship would be screened for the disease and any symptoms that might indicate they were sick would essentially disqualify them from uh, boarding that evacuation flight. So so not everyone was allowed on board. In fact, you're looking at images right now, and this is from a Canadian by the name of Ian Graylish from Toronto. You can see there as Canadians were being tested of COVID-19, and now these are some of the images on board the evacuation flight. This one from Mike Zorobin from Berks Falls, Ontario. Now he posted these images about 30 minutes ago, writing landing in Trenton, life on board the cargo plane, because this is what this evacuation was, essentially a cargo plane made into an evacuation plane. Uh, we should point out, Heather, this is a very different scenario than what we saw actually with the Diamond Princess off the coast of Yokohama, because we know in that case, they were forced to quarantine for two weeks on the ship itself. In this case, those Canadians were amongst the first to leave uh, the, the Grand Princess, and that's because the American government asked for the assistance of the Canadian government. They wanted to get uh, any Canadian nationals off of American soil, as, of course, the U.S., like many countries around the world right now, dealing with their own at-home COVID-19 crisis, Heather. So just thinking, this is the fourth of these repatriation flights we have seen with Canadians on board. Two out of Wuhan, we had the, mm -hmm. the flight with the Canadians off the uh, Diamond Princess eventually and now back from the Grand Princess and in all cases into two weeks of quarantine. That's right. So these are, they're off to CFB Trenton for those two weeks. Uh, two weeks because that is essentially the protocol. We know that the incubation period that uh, health officials around the world, and this is a, uh, essentially the guideline from the WHO, World Health Organization, is that two weeks would be the guideline to show any symptoms. But in this case, also underlining the fact that there, there's an extra reason here, and that's because in this country now, we have more than 75 cases of COVID-19. We've already had one death in relation to COVID-19. And of the three Firm cases uh, of the disease. We know that those three also were on an earlier uh, leg of the Grand Princess, the very same ship that these Canadians are being evacuated from. So if the two-week quarantine at CFP and Trenton made sense with prior ones, certainly makes much more sense, Heather, as a number of cases, again, of the current confirmed cases in the country are actually tied to that cruise ship. You know, when we're talking about the ship, why don't we take a, there's the plane yes. with Canadians landing. I just want to show you the shot because we have it live, Michael. Okay. There is the Grand Princess. There we Still go. in Oakland, California, they have it in a special part of the port there. And the process of disembarkation for all of these thousands of passengers expected to take two or three days. And as far as crew, they are going to be quarantined on that ship. Right, Michael? Exactly. And that's what's interesting about this. Again, in Yokohama, everybody was essentially quarantined at once. Very difficult for many of the passengers, especially those who had inside cabins rather than outside cabins right. with balconies. But in this case, they are going to disembark uh, everybody as much as possible, except for the crew who will stay with the ship because, of course, the ship still has to be maintained, even though it will not be servicing its crew's purpose in the moment. 19 time. of 21 of the people confirmed with coronavirus are crew members. So we have that live, taking a look at that, and of course the Canadians at home now after getting off that cruise ship. Michael, thank you very much.